Um, my wall, uh, so here's the dog. He's mauled by one or several other dogs. That's As I was watching the live Facebook video, I froze and was completely just locked in on that video. There was something about her that I felt connected with. I, I could feel her in my bones. It was the tail wag. The way she still wagged her tail while Zach sat in there. So, um, what we need to do is figure out a plan. Um, I think I could take her with me. Uh, we I could see this innocence and purity around her, but there was hope. There was a desire to live life at full force. I'm gonna just pick her up. I sat and I watched as they carried her out of the shelter. Side job. again when they brought her into the vet for the first time. I did name her, guys. Her name is Maple. <laughs> Maple Sugar. Awesome. Zach didn't have a foster. He didn't have funds. It was just a spur of the moment. This dog needs us, and we're going to figure it out as we go. The video wasn't over, and I turned to my husband, and I said, we're getting new foster. She's just a puppy, man. She's got her whole life ahead of her, so. It's it was game on from that moment. Now I got that call, she's ready, and drove down to Bakersfield. We just kind of looked at each other and said, it's me and you, Maple Girl. She didn't have a moment's hesitation. She walked right up to me. She trusted me. Her and I loaded up every other day, and we drove an hour each way to see the staff and vet techs. The vet techs cut out little hearts out of the bandaging material and put the little hearts on top of her bandaging. And everyone in the vet's office went from, oh, Poor baby to, oh my gosh, look at you. The difference when she came out that day, her head was tall instead of down low. You know, the truth was she was bandaged. She couldn't feel them all that much. It was purely the energy response. The neighbors would see her and, oh my gosh, hi, Mabel. My kids stuck the butterfly headband on her, she looked great, and the butterfly was born. She healed so quickly. It wasn't a month, and she no longer needed the full bandage. And then she'd come out of the vet's office, and they'd say, guess what? She doesn't need her head wrapped anymore. Guess what? She doesn't need the second leg wrapped anymore. And we could see her precious little wrinkles, and her ears had healed. That last one came off when we just stare at her. We could see she was just a, a little girl. It was an obvious freedom when those bandages were off and that's when we knew Maple got her groove back. It was obvious she was ready and it was time to start looking for her forever home. It's important to say goodbye before that day. So, you know, Maple and I had sat and had a conversation like we did often and, you know, she let me know she was ready. So I had to be ready. I knew it was time. That morning as I you know, packed her bag with her favorite blanket and toys, it was just right. She jumped in her truck and it was time to go and the two dogs hit it off and we all just seemed to know that and it was time to see her with her brother and all of the amazing places that Justine takes the two of them. It takes that bitter sweetness away and makes it just pure sweetness. Even still, I feel like Maple and I will have a soul connection forever. I can't wait to see her in person again someday.